What's up, y'all? I'm Mandy. This is Luca Red Tarot. So, I pulled out cards for y'all and started clarifying. And what is standing out to me the most here is these two cards. Um, the Three of Swords clarified by Owl Spirit and you see clearly now. So, you could be seeing something clearly now that you didn't see before. Because under this, um, is that a... Dang, I can't think of his name starts with a T, right? Anyway, whoever this pharaoh is, there's a question under here. There's like confusion, okay? And then this character here has got like something over their head where they can't see. But now there's this clarity coming with the owl spirit. Some kind of clarity coming in about a connection, okay, that you're dealing with that you've been struggling with. Okay, trust in the magic, three of wands. See the bigger picture in the situation. Um, You could be uh, causing your own kind of blockages here, uh, or it could be the person you're dealing with for some of y'all. But for some of you guys, well, the easiest person, I mean, the only person that you can change is yourself. I've just seen 111 on the clock. So if there's anything that you can do, to ch not changing yourself because someone outside of you thinks that you should uh, be different, but changing yourself because you feel that you should. There's things that you can change, okay, to make something better here. Tend to the small things here with the Ace of Wands. It's like you could be in a situation where you feel stuck, bored, or something like that. Like you need a new goal or something here. With the Seven of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands, it's like you could be like almost blocking your own blessings by, or this could be someone you're connected to that is kind of blocking or causing conflict in a relationship because of old things that's happened, right? Things that keeps being brought up possibly. Or it could be old ways of being that y'all, you yourself or you and another person are growing out of, needing to grow out of. Everything... Everything that's happened here, nothing is wasted, is on the Six of Cups. Um, the Six of Cups talks about past experiences, okay? All those things were have brought you to where you are now. So, I don't know if I want to say everything is supposed to happen because some horrible things happen and I don't know if I believe that those are supposed to happen. Maybe, you know, that's how you believe, but... Those past experiences, those past painful experiences that you've went through, you've learned from, you're growing from. Act as if you already have what you are trying to uh, manifest, okay? It's like you want peace and you want a connection here. There's already love all around you. It's like you've gotten too much in your head, possibly. With the Ace of Wands and the Mouse Spirit, tend to the small things. I'm getting that you feel like you need like a new inspiration here. Some kind of, like you, if you're in some kind of uh, relationship here, y'all might need to do something like to get, either y'all need to do something together because you're apart a lot or you need to do things apart because you're together too much. Either way. Okay. So we got Two of Wands is your goal and then clarifying the two of wands i got the nightingale spirit love is all around and it's like spirit is saying you're already loved you're already surrounded by love i don't know if you see that yet so with the two of cups freedom of, is yours and be playful there's a certain amount of um independence between you and another person It's almost like you tried to change something here for somebody and they, this could be some, how someone feels about you, you know, keep it in mind. Sometimes the energies can be reversed, but it's like somebody tried here to change something and make things better. Okay. And then it's like, whatever they tried it's like a rejection type feeling. Somebody could be feeling rejected. Or maybe somebody felt rejected by you at a certain point. But somebody's seeing something clearly now. So I want to look deeper into that. What is being seen clearly now? Do I want to get some from the... Yeah, we'll get some from the Island Time Wellness deck, I suppose. 
What is being seen clearly now with the Three of Swords and the Owl Spirit? Seduction. Something about seduction here. What do they need to know? Wedding rings. Let me get one more. Whoa. Well... Okay, so we got endings, bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, transition. So you could be going through a transition in a relationship or you have completely cut one off. See, this says third-party interference. I didn't see that at first. Temptation, third-party interference. Okay, what else? Camera, reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past, make memories. Hmm. Let's get another one. The runner at the bottom of the deck, karmic relationship. Codependent. Okay. Controlling. Has a block or restraint. Ooh, hold on. Hold on. Yes, yeah, somebody is replaying events over in their head about a um, third party connection. It could be like a... So, this is the thing from the past, possibly, that somebody is holding on to. Uh... Hmm. Let me get a couple more from this deck. Palm tree, ascending, stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, flexibility, transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase. So you could be going into a new phase with a um, relationship here. Receiving what you need. Which is love, okay? So you're going to be giving someone, you know, what they need. And you're going to be receiving what you need out of the situation. Like equal give and take. Abundance. Hand of cards. Okay, so be very careful at this time about your words. There's a there's an interference here um, in a connection that you may not know about. And it don't have to be that somebody's necessarily cheating or something like that. But it's like somebody, um, it could be a co-worker, friend, family, okay, that maybe somebody has listened to in the past. Or it could be um, that somebody gets in their own head about, you know, different things, okay? But whatever it is, I see that you really, um, you're really growing to a point where you're uh, putting a lot of stuff behind you. And I'm hoping that somebody here is not listening to whoever this is anymore or going through this same, the same old crap. It's like a change is needed here. Something, there's a change needed here. Somebody's needing to change up the way they do things, all right, in a connection. Or, you know, the connection may not make it through with that coffin card. It's like you're... Your way of thinking right now is very important. The words that are coming out of your mouth, Mercury keeps coming up, um, which talks about communication. And I think we are coming up in a Mercury retrograde. We may already be in it. Today is also a new moon, I believe, uh, <coughs> which is a good time to let go of old, outdated thinking. You can be your own knight. Release your guilt. Every hurricane comes to an end. So you've just been going through a stressful time here. And either you've earned your stripes. Either you are, you don't need someone else to fix you at the bottom of the deck. You may feel like someone isn't, what? And this came out. 
Focus on the here and now. Be your own first priority. Don't seek anyone's approval. These are the freaking cards that were at the bottom of the deck. Every hurricane comes to an end. Release your guilt and you can be your own knight. Maybe somebody makes you feel guilty about something from the past. Hmm. Let's get some thing else. What? <laughs> Let's get something from me. The good tarot. Tend to the small things. Be your own first priority. Okay, so you could be going through a time of feeling bad depression right or just feeling despondent okay because of different situations uh or it could be even something hormonal chemical or whatever it is okay but you've been going through a lot letting spirit be your guide at this time trust the magic and Trust the great mystery. There are things happening right now that you may not understand, but you're going to understand. Ten of fire at the bottom of the deck. Somebody's closing out a cycle here. High Priestess, your intuition is really picking up here. And it may be picking up on something that you don't really want to look at. With the High Priestess, the Fool, and the Five of Water. Okay. Yeah. This is my card of some. This is my card here of somebody in spirit is sending you some kind of signs. All right. You could see a feather or something that you feel like could be a sign from a, somebody in your spirit team or someone who's crossed over. They're around you. Somebody is. Okay. We got the king of earth. And the page of earth. This is giving me like a grandfather energy for some of y'all. This is also uh, the cherry. Is someone moving forward here towards what makes them happy? And. Like somebody really embracing happiness and letting go of some old crap. Okay, it could be a person you're letting go of, right? Let me see. Six of air, you're wanting peace in a situation. And you do seem to be connected to somebody with this otter spirit and that two of cups. So you want peace. You could be doing things to uh, eight of air. You're very intuitive yourself. And I don't know if you realize that or not. Justice. <clears throat> Remain strong at this time. Something is about to clear up. We got the Ace of Fire. The Ten of Earth. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. The Messenger of Earth. And the Two of Fire. I feel like you're going to get... Some, you're getting some kind of message here that you're not expecting or somebody's watching you that you don't even know about, okay? Or you're changing your goals here. You're really getting focused on your goals. Entering a new cycle, the four of fire. Um, and what are your goals? I think that's what's, what's being asked here, right? 
the four of fire can talk about a home the queen of fire with the two of fire you have all this fire um all this energy to be able to make some kind of changes here and bring this peace and happiness okay the eight of earth at the bottom of the deck something about your um your work is significant here some kind of work that's gonna make you um happy or something here what else they need to know the nine of earth the ace of fire you may be compelled to get free of a situation okay um or you may just feel compelled to become completely independent of someone or this is like the energy of you have an idea for this goal you go towards it and it's it puts you in a position where um you have a lot of abundance around you. For one, with this queen of fire and this nine of earth, you, you have a lot of gifts and abilities here. Either this could be a musical talent, spiritual gifts, or all of the above. You have the ability to create this ten of earth by yourself, okay? By yourself. Uh, you're a very lucky person that when you when you get an idea and you go towards it like you make it happen you could be dealing with somebody who is not with this king of earth and the queen of fire the energies are very different here hmm. this king of earth is very set in their ways maybe stubborn uh give me something else on the king of earth four of air the seven of fire the seven of earth and the ace of water i was Somebody could have a big ego. Um, let me get one on the Queen of Fire. The Six of Earth. You're going through a transformation here. Okay, now for some of y'all, there could have been some kind of blocks that have been in a relationship. They're being removed and there's some kind of renewal with the ace of fire there's like a new love energy coming in let me get something else on the queen of fire with the six of earth please the magician wow this is really all about you getting focused on what you want i can't say that enough with the ace of fire at the bottom of the deck <laughs> mm. i'm getting that's the grandfather energy coming through again that could be what this is too i said that earlier it might be trying to redirect me back to this is a this is a spirit that's sending you a lot of love right now and signs it could also represent a person in your life um hmm let me get another one on the these The king of air. <sighs> Somebody could be being kind of a bully. I was hearing that Prince song. Maybe I'm just like my father. Too bold. Or whichever. Maybe I'm just like my mother. She never satisfied. <laughs> when doves cry. Um. 
Oh, man. When doves cry. Oh, dang it. You, you and somebody may be taking a closer look at yourselves. Like, dang. Somebody could definitely be a bully a little bit. They might need to take a closer look at that, okay? There may be things you need to take a closer look at, but that's what they need to take a closer look at. They can be a bully at times. Maybe their father is bullyish. I don't know, y'all. Page, page of Earth with the King of Earth. Maybe they're just like their father. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, y'all. page of air with the page of earth the emperor At the same time, I feel like whoever you are, you're being watched and protected. And if somebody is behaving like a bully, I just feel like it's not going to go well for them, okay? It never really does for bullies, right? At some point, they get their ass kicked, right? In some kind of way. What they need to know, go with the flow. That's what your best bet is to do right now. Go with the flow. You're going through a transformation focus because you got big things coming in for you that you're going to create, all right? Raven Spirit, truth. You're going through a transformation here. And it's like when you get to the other side of this transformation, there may be certain things that you let go of, that you burn off, right? Some people may burn bridges with you. And this could also be, you know, because like I like to say, we... Or not just, I like to say it, it's the truth. The only person that you can change is yourself. So, if you are in some kind of connection, whether it be friendship, work, or a marriage, or whatever y'all got going on. If it's not you, it could be someone around you, like whatever it is. But, once you see that things aren't going in a way that you want, right? In a connection, or in your life in general. Um, when you start... Looking back at yourself, like, okay, this person's pissing me off because they're doing this, they're doing that, they're doing this, they're not doing this, they ain't doing that. You can't make nobody do anything, um, but you can make yourself do things. And so, you focusing on the small things here, tend to the small things. Like, what can you do every day? Okay, make sure you get up, take care of yourself, make sure you're eating, make sure you're um, drinking enough water, <laughs> Make sure you're putting in the work you need to put in. Whatever you need to do to take care of yourself and where your your environment, okay, whether that's at work, home, whatever it is. You're letting go of some um, things that you learned from, you know, that you or your person or both of y'all. Learning to overcome certain things that have become like a... Uh, long-standing habits belief systems or something both of y'all have things that everybody does right everybody has things that they that's probably been with them since they were kids with the two pages at a certain point when you kind of look at it examine it okay that's when you start going through a transformation letting go of the past the things from the past that aren't serving you anymore that's what I got for y'all. I hope it helped in some kind of way. Thank y'all for being here. I love y'all.